Audio files such as music contained in the device user's media library can be played by pushing a button within TouchChat. Let's add a song to the music page. Let's tap Groups, Music, and then the arrow. To edit a button, go to Menu, Edit Page, and choose the button you want to edit. Let's pick one of the song buttons and edit this button. We can choose to add the name of the song in the label. For this example, I'm going to use a song called California. You can select an image if you wish, or you can skip that step. Next, let's scroll down to the button actions Choose Add an Action, and select Play Library Audio. Then you're going to select the song that you want from your music library and save your changes. You'll also need to include a stop button on your page in case you need to stop the song from playing. This page already appears to have a stop button on it, but let's edit it to make sure everything was set up correctly. You can put stop as your label, choose a picture if you wish, scroll down to the actions tab, and the action that you want is stop library audio. If that action is not already there, you would want to choose add, and choose the action of stop library audio. Once you have your action, then you'll choose Save. Let's choose Done and test our music button. If you want to stop your song, go ahead and tap on the Stop button. Video files work a bit differently as Apple IPI does not allow a way to play commercial movies or TV shows contained in the user's media library. Video files must come from the device user's photo section. This means that you can take a video using your Apple device and add it to a button. Simply go to the page where you would like to add the video. Let's go home to Groups. TV and Movies, Arrow, let's choose Menu and Edit Page, choose a blank button and choose Edit This Button, create a label and choose an image. For this one I'll just put video number one. Let's add an action. Your action will be Play Library Video. It's then going to bring up any folders that you have videos in. Let's tap on Videos and select the video you wish to place on the button. Then choose Use in the top right hand corner. Your video will compress and when it's finished the Edit Button menu will reappear. Choose Save, and Done, and test your button. Once your video is finished playing, it will automatically go back to your vocabulary screen.